What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my 1965 International Scout. Let's take this thing for a rip and I'll show you guys what it's all about. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the interior on the car. So first off, you can see that I truck bed lined this whole thing. Um, I got this all professionally done. This thing is completely rust free. Scraped it all down to bare metal and got this stuff uh, blasted on. I got those uh, Carbo, Caribou, Carbo, whatever seats you wanna call that. These are uh, Baja bucket suspension seats. So these are really nice, you know, um, a good bucket that keeps you planted in your seat, keeps you, uh, Staying in it good around the corners and all that stuff and then when you're off road it's not going to let you bottom out when you like hit a big dip or something like that so it really keeps you the driver or passenger um you know out of harm's way on that has a uh, cheapy roll cage someone welded in when i had this thing originally it's got a roll bar and some down tubes um just put in a new steering wheel it's just a, a a little grant gt steering wheel pretty cool it looks a lot better if you guys saw a while back i did these no spider bite, scout lights right here. These things work out really good at nighttime, just basically making it to where you can uh, see inside the car. As far as inside the interior goes, we got a four speed. This is a Muncie SM420 transmission. That's a seven to one low granny gear first. We got a Dana 18 transfer case. This is twin stick. This is the front wheel drive right here, or should I say, this engages the front axle. And then right here, this is the four high and the four low. So right now we're in four high. Um, as far as this goes down here, this is the heater box. We've got a little glove box over there. Some uh, crank windows. Oh, AC in 1965. This is how the old school cars do it, if you guys haven't seen that. Boom. Um, if you hear that right now, I got an electric thermostat on this thing for the uh, cooling fan. So that's what this kicked on. Uh, truck bed lined all the way back in the rear. I got just like a little cargo net just for some some ease of uh, storage. Then I got a uh, Carbo Bucket Baja racing rear seat. You can see that little roll cage right there. And then we got all the glass. So, you know, pretty simple, pretty standard. However, it's very, very clean. As far as the outside goes, I just put on these uh, Toyo Open Countries. Uh, these are the mud trains. Brand new tires, looking good, just got them dirty. Uh, spray painted up the wheels real quick, that way they could just look extra nice. Um, I haven't actually taken it off-road with these new tires, but that was the first time, so if you guys saw, um, I'll like insert a little clip here of me just kind of cruising, kind of high center it in uh, two-wheel drive, and then we cruise ourselves out in, uh, in rear-wheel drive, but, or sorry, should I say four-wheel drive, um, just due to the fact that we didn't have traction on the rear because the we're gonna demonstrate the difference between two wheel drive and four wheel drive here real quick, okay? bumper this is actually made in woodland california or albany oregon um so it's actually like an original i'm pretty sure this is an original ca car got the uh not old license plate these are pretty rad you know you got the little the hooks for the uh tailgate on this thing which is a little different on the old school cars um another really cool thing is that this actually stays in place so if you get close here Look at this little mechanism right here. It actually goes up, boom, just keeps in place. You can actually lock the window in place too if you wanna drive down the street like that. So it's really neat. Truck bed just folds down and you just hook it on there. So again, super clean, super nice. 
old school technology, solid steel, international. You guys might be saying, I thought that was a Bronco. Well, it's not. Or did International copy Bronco? Well, no, they didn't. Actually, Ford copied International. Uh, I think these things came out in 1961. I don't think the Broncos came out until 1966. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. Um, overall, Dana 27 in the front, 427 gears, Floor Master exhaust, uh, 40 series, and a Dana 44 in the rear with the Detroit locker that you saw doing some sweet skids when it pulled up. So, 350 Chevy, got some ox beam headlights on the front. Um, it's a Holly Truck Avenger carburetor. This little L Brock, uh, crappy little intake. We got Moroso um, valve covers. This actually has Harlan Sharp rocker rollers and Proform stud girdles. So it's actually got some fancy stuff in here. Some uh, block hugger headers, some shorties, Northern radiator, electric fan, uh, Optima battery, things on a thermostat, makes good power, a little HEI um, distributor. And yeah, overall it's a, it's a good little package, torquey little motor and this engine, uh, is a pretty dang good. It's four bolt mains, 350 Chevy, and it makes good power. So I'm easily able to do like 78. Woo, that's a heavy. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to drop that. There's actually a pin to do that. Just try not to do that. But it'll easily do 70, 80 miles an hour if I wanted to. I would say 65 to 70 is the preferred speed limit. But yeah, overall, that's the Scout. Have it up for sale if you guys want to check it out. Uh, 15500 is what I'm asking. Uh, go ahead and hit me up if you're uh, interested at Blake's Garage on Instagram. And yeah, overall, it's a cool Scout. Uh, comment below if you guys want to see anything else on this thing in the future. And let me know. Talk to you soon. Later. I'm John.